Okay, players. So today is February 9th, 2023. And this is the cover of the Clarion Ledger, and that is a newspaper in Jackson, Mississippi. As you can see, the headline is separate, but unequal. Now, this entire situation goes back to what I was talking to you guys about yesterday, which was how important it is to vote on your state and local levels. Because on yesterday, the Mississippi House of Representatives approved the creation of a new court system within the capital of Jackson. That's the only place where they're doing this, in which judges and prosecutors in an overwhelmingly black city will be appointed by white state officials. Oh, yes, 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 honey, it's true. Now, the city of Jackson is 80% black, but all of their state officials are white like this. This is actually the representative that introduced this piece of legislation legislation that will oversee what the black people are doing in the city of Jackson, Mississippi. This is Trey Lamar. Now this bill, which passed yesterday with a 76 to 37 vote, and the only people who voted against it was the few black lawmakers that they have in Mississippi. Under the bill, the Mississippi Supreme Court Chief Justice would appoint two judges to oversee cases in the district. The Mississippi Attorney General would appoint four prosecutors, and the state public defender would appoint public defenders, and the Mississippi Public Safety Commissioner would continue to have authority over a capital police force over the expanded CCID. Now, despite the fact that Mississippi has the nation's largest proportions of black residents at 38%, no black official has ever held any of those positions that will be responsible for doing the appointing. No black Mississippian has held any statewide elected office since the brief period of the Reconstruction after the Civil War. Now, the mayor of Jackson called the bill oppressive. He said what we just saw was some of the most oppressive legislation that we have seen in our city's history. It's oppressive because it strips the rights of black people to vote. It's oppressive because it redirects their tax dollars to something that they don't endorse or believe in. The director of the Southern Poverty Law Center said in a statement that this legislation encourages an extreme imbalance of power. This extreme government overreach is yet another attempt by self-interest leaders to dilute black and brown voices, proposing a profoundly serious threat for democracy and re weakening the electoral power of all Mississippians. Now, the bill's sponsor, Trey Lamar, said that the bill is designed to help make our capital city of Mississippi a safer city. The bill is designed to assist the court system, not to hinder it. If that were true, why is it only done in the city of Jackson, which is majority black? Why didn't you do it statewide? Put your thoughts in the comments, please.